Welcome to another edition in our CSEC uh, exam pass paper questions and solutions. Now this question is question 6a taken from the May 2011 question. Now this is really an algebraic question. This question normally falls under algebra but to be more specific it's a functions and relations question. Now it states that the function f and g are defined by the function f of x is equal to 6x plus 8 and the function g of x is equal to x minus 2 all over 3. Now in part 1 they're asking us to calculate the value of g of a half. Now simply what this means is just that anywhere I, I, I see x in the function g I'm going to replace it with a half. So to answer part 1 we could simply say then that since g of x is equal to x minus 2 all over 3 then if they're asking us to find g of 1 upon 2 that must be equal to if you notice if you can make a clear distinction here wherever x is they have removed it now and play and uh, and they have replaced it with a half so that's the same exact thing that we're going to be doing in the function so wherever i see x i'm going to move that x now and i'm going to say a half minus two and that is all upon three okay now we can calculate that easily this is equal to and I'm going to rewrite this statement another way to make it a bit easier for you so I'm going to say open bracket a half minus 2 and I'm going to close my bracket and I'm going to say divided by 3 now if you look at this statement carefully um, the statement below is saying the same thing. I have a half minus 2 divided by 3 up here. And also I have a half minus 2 divided by 3. Now I can just simply change that into a fraction. Find my lowest common denominator, LCD, which is 2. 2 into 2 goes 1 time. 1 times 1 will give me 1 minus, bring down my sign, 1 into 2 goes 2 times. And 2 twos will give me a 4. Now here... What I have left is 1 minus 4. So this implies, or this is saying that, I'm going to get a negative 3 upon 2 divided by 3. Okay? And I can just, since this is a fraction and I'm dividing fraction, I can just change my whole number into a fraction by placing it over 1. Let me just pull up this a bit because I believe we're going to need a little bit more space. Okay? I think that should be good. Now, quickly... Um, to finish this, to conclude this, uh, we know that when we are dividing fractions, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we can rewrite the fraction at the front as is. That remains the same. We're going to change the division sign to multiplication. And I'm just going to flip the fraction at the back. So instead of having 3 over 1, I'll have 1 third. I know that a negative times a positive will give us a negative. So my answer should be negative. And I'm going to look for a common factor in my fractions to see if I can calculate cancel out so a 3 can go into itself once and this 3 will go into itself once so up top I have left 1 times 1 will give me a 1 upon 2 ones will give me a 2 so my answer when I calculate that is negative a half okay and that's our answer now good let's look at part 2 quickly all right now in part 2 they are asking us to write an expression for g of x in its simplest form. Now quickly again let's take the functions. If you notice they are saying g of f of x, g of f of x. So part 2, let's calculate it here. We have g of f of x. Okay. Now what I want to bring to your attention is that any function that is to the far left here, that's the function that you're going to write first. And then whatever function is here, you're putting f of x, for example, is here. You're going to put f of x into g. But wherever you see x in g, you're going to substitute f of x. So let's look at it quickly. It may sound a bit complicated at first but when you look at it it will be much easier now the function here to the far left that's the function i'm writing first g of x okay so i'm going to since g is there i'm going to look what g of x is so g of x is x minus 2 all over 3 now simply put um whatever f of x is now i'm going to replace x and put 
f of x there okay so where x is i'm going to change that and i'm going to put this function which is f of x 6x plus 8 so here now here now i would have my f of x is 6x plus 8 and i'm just going to put that in bracket to show that represents x and i'm subtracting 2 and that is all upon 3. now let's just calculate this quickly now i can remove my brackets by saying 6x plus 8 minus 2 and that is all upon 3 okay now let's just pull the screen up a bit so we can get a little bit more space to work with okay we can stop there now quickly here i have here i have my um, 8 minus 2 so i can just bring down my 6x so i can say 6x and 8 minus 2 will give me a 6 and that is all upon 3 now this is equal to if you look at my numerator right my numerators would share a common factor of 3 the HCF of my numerator the highest common factor would be 3 so I can simplify that so I can say take out a 3 that is common to 6x and 6 so when I take out a 3 there I have a open bracket and I'm saying this 3 that I've took out that I've factored out I say 3 into 6x 3 into 6 would go 2 times and it would leave me with an x and I'm saying 3 into 6 now this 6 here and 3 into 6 will leave me with a positive 2 and I'm closing my bracket and I'm putting all of that over my denominator which is 3 now if you notice I have a 3 multiplying whatsoever is inside the bracket and a 3 down here so obviously I can cancel out those two 3's so obviously this would be equal to 2x plus 2 that's what I have left but if you remember they said that they want their answer in its simplest form so to get that in its simplest form then really what I would have to do I would say this is equal to and again what I'm doing I'm looking at the 2x and the 2 and I'm looking for what is common so I have common to that is a 2 so I'm taking out my 2 and I'm saying this 2 into 2x 2 will cancel 2 leaving us with an x and 2 into this 2 will go one time okay so in its simplest form our answer is 2 open bracket x plus 1 okay and that's our answer for part 2 in part 3 we'll in the next video we we'll look at part 3 okay bye bye